you've got home assistant, you've got lights and sockets and switches and maybe dishwashers and other home appliances all plugged into it and everything's lovely automated. But you want to control these devices using your voice and using Google Home. If that's something of interest to you, then stick around and watch this video. Thanks for watching. Let's start by adding the Home Assistant service into Google Home. So at the moment, as you can see, I don't have any Home Assistant integration devices in Google Home. It's just my existing um, Google Hubs and my Nest Protect devices and a few speaker groups. So what we'll do is we'll go into Services and Works with Google and we'll look for the home assistant service to add. So the first thing we need to do is enter our Nabu Casa credentials, which obviously you'll need a Nabu Casa account to be able to expose these home assistant entities into um, Google Home. So it's found no compatible devices at the moment, which is absolutely fine because we haven't exposed anything. So that's the next thing that we need to do. So let's now go into Home Assistant and expose the entities that we want Google Home to be able to see. So you can see the um, HA Assist has got 194 entities exposed. We've got zero um, with Alexa and zero in Google assistant so we're not exposing anything at the moment um, you'll see the expose new entities on off toggle switch I don't want to do that by default I'd rather go in and control which entities have been exposed because you if you expose everything then it becomes very um, unwieldy within the interface so I'm just going through and exposing the entities that I want to be able to control with Google Home so lights socket switches plugs um any anything that i'm going to use my voice to control i don't want things like helpers or you know specific entities within uh, a device that you just don't need to control with your voice so i'd be very selective with this otherwise you'll end up with tons of stuff in there that's that's pointless in having that'll just make google home a mess so there's 51 51 entities you can see have been exposed so um, what we'll do now is go into Google Home and have a look at those. So let's have a look now to see if those 51 entities that I've exposed from a Home Assistant have come through. So we can see I've got 51 there, which is great. So let's have a look in my devices and see if they're listed. So they haven't gone straight into any of the rooms or zones I've set up. They're all in the bottom part of Home Assistant, I'm um, sorry, in Google Home. So the linked devices, um, which I can obviously control. But what I need to do is now move them into my Google Home and assign them to a room. So as an example, I've gone to the back garden floodlight. I'm going to add it to my home and then I'm going to add it into a room or zone, whatever you want to call it. Now, unfortunately, I need to go through this 51 times to add all of those different things, all those different entities, devices into Home Assistant. You can see I can control the devices through the interface now. Uh, I won't bore you and go through all of these individually, but um, yeah, I've gone through and added them now. Switch on kitchen lights. Switch off kitchen lights. Seven lights off. Switch on dishwasher plug. Okay, turning dishwasher plug on. Switch off dishwasher plug. Plug 
set kitchen temperature to 20 degrees. Set to 20 degrees. Set kitchen temperature to 19 degrees. Set to 19 degrees. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. So hopefully by this point you've got Home Assistant set up, hopefully following my um, getting started series of videos and you've got your, um, by watching this video, you've now got your Google Home device in a position where it's integrated with Home Assistant using the linked services. So you can now expose those entities that you want from Home Assistant, such as your lights and maybe some appliances and sockets and things like that, that you want to control using your voice and they're now exposed to Google Home. So when you ask Google to turn something on or off, then it will do it for you. Hopefully it was useful. Hopefully you got some value from it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, a like and subscribe and um, you can come along and watch my next video. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Google, lights off.